Hello, and thank you so much for tuning in to the Prophetic Marriage Ministry. My name is Shannon, if this is your first time, and I want to welcome you to my channel. So I have a prophetic word from the Lord today, and that word is, do not be intimidated by the process. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And yes, I'm in the bathroom, but this is good lighting. So I was like, okay, let's do it here. So anyway, I said this on one of my live streams when we were fasting concerning marital new birth. And the Lord told me that I need to reiterate this to everyone because after the fast, some of you may have experienced warfare, something discouraging may have happened, or maybe the enemy is trying to instill fear because of how it looks, because of maybe not being in communication, because of maybe something your spouse said, or maybe you feel like you've done something to kind of like mess up the process. But God is still in control. God sits on the throne, okay? I rebuke every monitoring demonic spirit right now in the name of Jesus. I blind you and I deafen you right now in the name of Jesus. I had to get that out of the way. Praise the Lord. I cover this person in the blood of Jesus from the crown of their head to the soles of this of their feet. I cover this video in the blood of Jesus. Yes, God, may the video reach those who it needs to reach in Jesus' mighty name. Okay, praise the Lord. So, do not be intimidated by the process. Do not... Let the devil intimidate you. The Lord is saying, I am still at work. Okay? Do not forget the promise that the Lord has given you. God has been speaking restoration to you for months. For some of you, for years, for weeks. Maybe some of y'all just got into some type of mishap or disagreement with your spouse. And you're like, oh my gosh. It ain't going to work. No, I rebuke the lie of the devil right now in the mighty name of Jesus. God is still at work. Do not allow the process to intimidate you. Do not allow the circumstances to intimidate you. Because God can move swiftly and suddenly. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. There's going to be an element of surprise concerning all of this. God is going to surprise you, but God is also going to let you know about certain things along the way. But there is going to be some type of element of surprise because he desires to surprise you because he's a good God and he gives good gifts. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. But the process is going to look strange. It's going to look weird. It's going to look odd. It's going to look questionable. And it may even look dead, my God. But God is saying, I'm using this very process for my glory. Everything that you and your spouse are experiencing right now. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Everything that you guys are experiencing right now is for his glory. It's for his glory. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Okay, let me see. Is the Holy Spirit saying anything? I feel led to say, take Catholicism back to the Lord. Oh, take Catholicism back to the Lord. Um, okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, I'm going to just let that simmer there. Okay, I'm going to just let it simmer there. Okay, hallelujah, praise the Lord, thank you, Jesus. I'm not Catholic, but the Lord says, take Catholicism back to the Lord. <clears throat> but as I was saying, hallelujah, praise the Lord, thank you, Jesus. You should not be intimidated by the process because the Lord is working. The Lord is moving. The Lord is transforming. God is saying, until you get into alignment with the truth of who I am, you're going to be stagnant. That part is not for everybody. But some of you, you know Jesus, but there's some things that you have misunderstood about who Jesus is 
his role. Um, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> hey, when I be having to do stuff like that, like I, I came on here wanting to say, um, you know, do not be intimidated by the process. The reason why the Lord allowed the separation is because either you or your spouse or you and your spouse, you have the wrong idea of who Jesus is, his role. It might be some type of idolatry going on or something, but that this part of the video is not for everybody. You have to take that back to the Lord. Okay. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But God has to be in the right place. Jesus has to be in the right place in your life. And until he is, you're going to go around and around and around and around and around like a merry-go-round. And some of you may have experienced that. And you're like, God, why is this happening? Why is it like a merry-go-round? And for some people, it's going to look like that anyway, because that's how the process is at times. But for some people, God is letting that happen because you have to get God in the right place. Seek an understanding of who Jesus is. Get the idolatry out. Some people are in cults. <sighs> God has been dealing with me today about this, like in cults and the Holy Spirit being quenched. It's a whole lot of stuff going on. Jesus, we just need to get it together. That's what's hindering some of the marriages. Like I said, this is not for everybody, but that's what's hindering some of the marriages. Having the wrong idea about Jesus, putting him in the wrong place, idolatry, being in a cult and not realizing you're in a cult. Um, God is like, I'm not restoring nothing until we get this together. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. But be encouraged because the Lord is on the throne. Hallelujah, praise God. And whatever I said in this video, if it has nudged at your heart in some type of way, shape, or form, <clears throat> it could be for you. And if you're Catholic, God says, take it back to the Lord. Um. I don't like this. I don't like saying that. But yeah. Um, if anybody can shed some insight on Catholicism, if you were Catholic and then you're not anymore. But I do know that there is something not right about it. And I hate to be the messenger to say that. But the Lord led me to say it. And you have to seek God on behalf of that. And I don't mean to be the one to mention it, but I had to. Ah! <laughs> you know, but praise the Lord anyhow. I'm just doing what God told me to do. If I could just go to bed and not say nothing. Trust and believe me. Sometimes I would do that. <laughs> but I love y'all so much. Think about everything that was said and done. Oh, yes. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord is, is um, also saying he's going to restore the years that the locusts have eaten. Yes, God. He's going to restore the years that the locusts have eaten. Some of you have been in this for a long time. The journey has been a long one. The road has been a long road. My God, today. But he's going to restore the years. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So be encouraged because this is just a season, a moment in time. Mm, 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 mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. And if you need some encouragement, if you need some coaching, some counsel, I am the one you want to speak to as led by the Holy Spirit. I will leave my booking section, my booking site in the description and in the comment section below. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And if you feel led to sow into this word, 
put into the comment section of your seed. I will not be intimidated by the process. Yes, God. And even if you don't feel led to sow, put into the comment section of this video. I will not be intimidated by the process. And the sewing information will also be in the description and in the comment section below. But I want to thank everybody so much who has sown thus far. I pray that the Lord increases your seed a thousandfold in the mighty and miraculous name of Jesus. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Love y'all so much. Share this with a friend or a family member if you feel like it will help them. Um, subscribe if you feel led. But I want to thank you so much for tuning in to the Prophetic Marriage Ministry. And I will see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.